Hey guys, welcome back. So, we are doing another one of the alphabet challenges. Today we're going to do the letter S. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm like hosting a Sesame Street episode or something, like, you know? Anyway, so we're going to do S and we're going to do stamps or stamping or, you know, with the acrylic stamps. So I thought about doing like the postage stamps, but I've done a lot of collage work. I've done a lot of uh, lacy work and stuff like that. So, I mean, most of my stuff will have lace on it because I mean, well, I do laces and doilies and that's kind of like doing that anyway. Um, but I figured we could do some stamping. So I've got a tag, I've got a uh, time card, a trifold time card, and I have an eight by 10 or eight, and a half by 11 bag. Um, so it'll be like an insert page type dealio. Um, I don't have my phone again because that's what I do. I did bring this little book because I thought it was cute. I don't know if we're going to use it or not, but it's here. Um, and I've got my stamps. Oh, and my stamp bag. And a handful of laces and some ink. I have, this is the Oxide Distress Ink. And I also have Archival Ink as well. Um, not just this one. Let me grab the other basket before I start this timer. I don't know that I'm gonna necessarily need the whole basket. So I don't know if I really wanna bring the whole thing over. But please don't fall down, go boom. You know you don't want to. Um, but I've got some more archival ink there. And I'm just going to leave this over here off camera. Because I don't know if I'm going to use the oxide or the archival. I'm not sure yet. I think I have a spray bottle. I do. So if we play with the oxide we can spray it and go psh, 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 and make it pretty little colors, which we might do that. That'll be fun. Um, so let me grab my timer and we're going to move the camera over here so I can see you and start. I find it best to just start the timer because if I sit here and think about it, then I'm not really I don't know. I don't know that I'm really going to get anywhere. And if I just start the timer, then I just go and there's a little room to think and contemplate. Which is one of the things I like about this challenge is it allows you to just be creative without over analyzing, without thinking, because you have that time, that time limit. So you're just like, ah, just do it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. So I'm not sure which stamps I'm going to use, which is probably not a good thing because that's probably going to take a lot of time trying to find different stamps to use. Um, let's see. Let's go back here. Ooh, that's a pretty cool one. We'll do that one. Ooh, and that one. That one. What else is over there? Mm. Yeah, we'll Alright, so I'm going to put that one sideways. Okay, so let's go with some script here. I like the wood block too. We'll do, where'd it go? Where'd you go? There you are. We'll do the script on this one. And I'm actually going to do the archival on this one. Um, let's see. Put you over there. Don't touch the mouse. And actually, I'm not sure if this brown is going to show up. This is a coffee color, and well, that's what I'm stamping on coffee dyed paper. 
cool. It works. It's actually kind of subtle too. So you can see it, but it's not like overpowering, you know? So do y'all dab like this or do you rub like this? I always thought that it, I've always heard that it's better to dab, but I know plenty of people that rub it as well. Um, so what do you guys do? Alright, so I don't have like a gargantuously huge text block of script, as you can see. This is pretty much it. it. Alright, I think I think that's it. Got my wipe. They're actually kind of warm because they're sitting on this shelf. And this shelf is like right over my computer. My the tower of my computer. And with all the fans and everything. It makes it warm. Alright. Nope. Alright, let's see what else do we want to do. Kinda like these little buildings. Let's do that one. I'm gonna put these in the background. Uh, that way. Do that one upright. That one that way. And then this one. Did that one upright. No, we'll do it sideways. There we go. And so this is going to be another background piece here. So those of you who have been with me for a while know that I don't really do stamping all that much. Um, but it is fun and you can get a really cool effect out of it. So we're just going to plop it down there. And you can also use your, um, oh, what's it called? Misty. Your mi oh, that's cool. Your Misty tool. All right. So I think. I'm going to go in with another color with this. And put that there. Have a darker brown. Have a red, purple, teal, green. Ooh, green might be fun. Black or oh, orange. Wonder what orange will look like. Let's try it. How orange will orange be? That's really cool. Ah, no, don't touch me. That ink touched it my finger. Alright. I actually really like this color on this paper. Ow! I pinched my finger. Okay, so now we have to put all these back. Um, you go there. You go there. Go there. Oh, well, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. All right, so we're done with that one. All right, now let's do something a little prominent. Ooh, we could put the ship or travel bags. Let's do travel bags. 
There's flow stage two. Let's do this one. We'll do this one in black. Hold that. Let's make sure we're not putting it upside down because I want it to go right across there. And oh, I bet red would be fun too. I have black. Let's just use black set. We have it. Where did my black go? Oh, I have gray. Oh, you know what? I bet it's in that container right there. Because, you know, if you guys didn't think I had enough ink, let me show you something real quick. While I'm on the clock, you know, why not? I have more. And there's the dark brown potting soil. Oh, I don't have black in here. Hmm. Green, dark green. I have stays on, but stays on dries out real quick if you leave it out like that. Like how I'm doing. Err, I know this all came out of here. Okay. Um, we'll leave that available, but we'll just we'll use this color, which is watering can. It's a dark gray. Alright, and then put you right there. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's very cool. All right, and then let's see. We'll put a postage, like a postcard thingy over somewhere. Um, got a compass. I'm put the compass on there. Did I wipe you off? I don't think I did. All right, All right. compass there. Compass there. Oh, there. 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 Okay. All right. This is kind of cool. What y'all think? Do you like it? Do you dig it? I still like the suitcases. We're going to use the suitcases next. So, I like the boat. I think the boat would be super cool. Probably fixing to ruin this, I'm sure. And I'm starting with the bigger piece of work um, because I think it's going to take the most time to do. All right. Put you right in the middle. That's really cool. Super cool. Okay. I 
I'm really liking this. All right, we'll put a couple suitcases over here and should call it. Oh, I like the camera. Let's do the camera and the suitcase. All right, so the suitcase first. Put you over here in the corner. And then camera. Let's see, I think this corner up here is a little naked. Let's fix that. And um, oh, it goes this way. I was like, which way does it go? All right. Perfect. Okay. Now that's really cool. What? Oh. I was like, why is this not working right? Because I had it flipped over backwards. All right. So, that first one took us a long time to do, but it is done, I think. I, feel like. I think that it would be really cool in like a traveler's book. Not like, you know, a traveler's notebook or anything like that, but like a, like a travel themed book. I think that would be really cool. Go in there. There we go. All right. So there's that one. I think that turned out really cool. Kind of like uh, the graphics, but you know, not. All right, so let's take these. Oh, look at that! I didn't even see this one. Oh, we could do nautical for the this one here, like this all-out nautical. That's that's what I'm gonna do. I have blue, actually, because I really like this blue. And, um, oh, let's do this one. This is Garden Patina. Let's see what color are you. It's a green. Well, obviously it's green, but that's pretty. Um, purple. I don't think we want purple. All right, let's do the blue green patina. Come here. Give me my stamp. Um, I think this particular set of stamps I got off at Etsy. I think. I don't remember. Ugh. Jeez. Did not want to come off. Okay. Watch it get stuck on there too. Oh, that's going to be so cool. I'm not really that worried about it bleeding onto my paper because it is permanent ink. So once it dries, it's not going anywhere. All right. I like this lighthouse. Where are we going to put you, lighthouse? My daughter just finished her schoolwork. 
So she's like bouncing off of the walls. That is so funny. Like, dude, what is wrong with you? Um, we'll just continue with the Tina. I think we're gonna put the lighthouse right here though. Gotta wipe it off. All right. So I don't remember where I got these, but the uh, I feel like the detail lines on them aren't quite connected, and it's like I'm not sure if it's throwing off the design or what, or maybe it was designed like that. It doesn't look like it's designed like that. I'm not sure. But does that make sense to anyone? How the detail lines aren't quite connected. Alright, which one are you using? North. You're north. Alright. And then we'll put you on the back. Ooh, I kind of, yeah, I'm going to do you in gray. Oh, wait a minute. I'll put you right there, actually. I love these little tiny ink pots. They're just so cute and adorable. feel like you just don't have enough ink on there so you just keep putting more on there <clears throat> water oh my goodness what was the other thing I was stamping was it the tag I hope it's the tag because I lost whatever it was see see what I mean but that's okay because you just use this, like how I use stamps. I just use the stamps as like background. Um, I don't know why I did that. Um, and then I, I decorate on top of it. Does that make sense? Kind of like how this is designed and that will be like the background. But I think this is like where the, what's it called? The Misty would come in handy or come in handy or whatever other stamping device you have. Cause there's a few of them out there now. Cause I know we are memory keepers has one. I'm pretty sure Tim Holtz has one. Um, uh, let's see now it doesn't want to stick back on the thing. Ugh, you were such a pain to get off. Okay. I don't really want to use the boat. I used the boat already. I know it was on a different thing, but it was a very similar boat and it was a really, really good boat. I'm just afraid this boat's not going to live up to par. nautical knots here. Some more nautical knots down there. All right. 
so it looks kind of cool. But yeah, I think that it would be really cool after you decorate it. Now we're not going to have time to decorate it because I didn't pre-stamp. I think I figured the whole stamping part that was the challenge. I I don't I don't really know. I don't I don't know the rules with this challenge uh, thingy. All I know is pick a letter, craft for thirty minutes, make three things. So. And that's what I've been doing. There you go. Oh, that one's kind of naked. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe I can put that lighthouse on there instead. <laughs> um. Oh, let's use this. See, these these stamps are actually from AliExpress. I know exactly where it's from where those are from. And these stamps are awesome. I've used these stamps several times. And they're amazing. Look at that. Look how clear and crisp that is compared to that one or that one. crazy. I think I'm going to put, uh, well, I don't want to put it on the front and on the side. <clears throat> All right. Hello world. I like that. Follow your heart. Um, where'd my, oh, there it is. We'll put that on the front. Assuming I can not put it on upside down. <clears throat> have a froggy in my throat. So I know a lot of people have their issues with Ally Express. Um, but I personally, I don't have an issue with the company AliExpress. I have an issue with some of the shop owners because, well, of various reasons. But I don't have a problem with the corporation AliExpress. I've had really great experiences with them for the most part. Actually, I've personally always had great experience with them. I've never had issues with them. I just know other people have. That's really cool. I like that. So... There's that one. And that can actually go with this because it's in the same theme. Do we want the same theme or do we want to do something different? Um, let's do, oh, that's pretty. Where are you? You are supposed to be down here. <laughs> I don't have you. All right, let's see. This one is another um, AliExpress stamp. Uh, obviously, I use this one because this one's gone. I'm not entirely sure where that's at. We're actually going to stamp this side, though, because I want to keep this side nice and pretty. Um, I think I'm going to use that purple I was talking about. <clears throat> uh, i got to open it, though. I haven't opened it. There's a lot of my inks that I haven't opened. Um, cause I got archival, I don't know. I got archival a while back when I was selling, um, when I was selling on YouTube, I would make, uh, stamped kits and I got archival for that. Um, so that was, that was a while ago. Um, I recently got some stamps or not stamps, but ink. And I'm not sure what to do with it because um, some of it works great. You know, some of it is just, you know, it's amazing. It works absolutely perfectly. I love this color. Put it up here. Right around that hole. 
but some of it like the pad comes off so if you guys have any kind of suggestions on how to basically put uh, an ink pad back together I tried hot glue and it was like nope okay um, maybe e6000 I don't know I haven't tried that oh my gosh I love that oh that is so cool and we're gonna I gotta wipe this off because I threw away my wipe. I gotta get another one. It was dry. My fan is going like super high crazy. My husband flipped it over a couple weeks ago and um, now it just it it blows so well. <laughs> it dries out my my baby wipes. Alright, so we're gonna put you right here and we're going to put you right here I like how I did that Bloop. that's a little trick I learned from the misty because you put your paper down and then you put your stamps down and then you fling the door over and you pick up your stamps and then you ink them Oh no. Ah, ha, ha, that worked out very well. Normally that does not work out very well. Normally I'm like, nope, got to redo it. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. I love this. You know, this one is probably my favorite one. It's the most simple, but I love these stamps. Absolutely love these stamps. And I did get these off of AliExpress like four years ago. So I have no idea which vendor they came from. No clue. I just know they came from AliExpress. Uh, and my stamp is pink. That's so cute. Uh, this one is called Cactus Flower. Uh, for anybody who is curious on that, I'm going to stop this before it yells at you in eight seconds. Stop. Okay. So that is done. Now we'll pop, we might actually use these in the next one. Um, cause I know I can use T for tag. Um, and that would work really well because I, I enjoy making tags because they're easy to use once I've made them. Um, whereas some of the other stuff, it's a little bit more difficult to use, uh, once it's made, but I like making tags, but I can make this into a tag. I don't know about this one. I don't think I can make this one into a tag. So this one might have to wait. <clears throat> but I could definitely make this into a tag. And I'll show you guys how to do that because it's going to be really cool. Anyway, so we're going to do tags for tea. Surprise. I know. Anyway, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the stamping process. I really liked this one. This one turned out really cool. I like this one a lot. Um, and then there's this one with the flowers. You see my fan? It's just like, and then this one here. So, oh my gosh. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.